In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix some stripped threads in a side battery terminal. And the problem with these side terminal batteries is the they strip out. You can see all the lead in there, and that's the problem is those threads are lead, and they're very soft and very easy to strip out. So you don't want to over tighten those or this will happen. But uh, easy fix, I went to the Ace Hardware store, and I got a 1 inch uh, 3 8 by 16 coarse threads bolt is which what this these threads are and you wouldn't have to take the battery out but I wanted to so you could see this better and what was going on and uh, I also want to get this started where I could get it started real straight it's kind of a limited area when it's in the truck but uh, you could eliminate getting this uh, doing taking it out and just doing it in the pickup and you'll also want to get a 3 8 coarse thread nut to put on that bolt and we'll I'll show you how that works here in just a little bit but uh, the idea is that this will go in deeper and catch some threads that, uh, that, are, that are not stripped out and you don't want to tighten it too much or go too deep because you can actually put a hole in the battery and that's what this nut is for uh, we'll actually tighten the nut up to the terminal but you want to clean that off real well your battery terminals uh, used a wire brush to clean them and some battery cleaner to get that nice and clean. Then I also did the same thing on the truck. Now this one uh, already had the ring exposed like that. If not, you may have to take that off so you can use this method, but this was already like that. And uh, you want to clean that as well, both the positive and the negative. And remember when removing the battery cable, uh, you want to take the negative off first and then the positive. And then whenever you're installing it, you want to reverse that. You want to put the positive on first and then the negative. Now, they do make a fitting for this, an adapter to do this. Uh, I could find it on Amazon. I could find it, like, I uh, went to all the parts stores. They could order it. But uh, this is my son's truck, and he was needing this fixed right now. Uh, you know, he didn't have time to wait. needs to get to work. So uh, we went ahead and used this method, and it costs less than a dollar to do this. So... And I'm just showing you on that negative, it does have that uh, rubber boot around it. Well, you'll have to get that battery terminal uh, bolt out, so you may have to cut that a little bit where it looks like that positive lead right there. But uh, fortunate enough, this one was uh, already all metal, which made it real easy. So what you want to do, and I, I was hoping I could do this where you could see it better with the battery out of the truck, but the, uh, they was not long enough. The battery uh, cables was not long enough to do that, so I had to put it back in the truck. But I did get the bolt and get it started in straight while it was out of the truck, which made it easier. But now I'm just tightening it by hand. And you don't want to get this too tight. Like I said, you don't want to punch a hole in the battery and the acid leak out. So I'm going to uh, tighten it by hand, and then I'm going to get a wrench to finish tightening it. So I'm just going to snug that on there as soon as it bottoms out. That's about as far as you want to go because we're going to finish tighten it by, with a nut. We're going to loosen the nut, which will tighten the, the terminal on there. So I go ahead and uh, snug that down and snug right, net, right there. And now how you're going to tighten this up is you're going to loosen that nut, which will get tight up against the terminal. And again, you don't want to just crank down and over tighten that either. You just want to get that nice and snug and that battery terminal will be on there nice and tight. Now, this is a common problem that happens with these batteries. The, the threads are so soft. You have to be careful with these batteries. But uh, batteries are expensive and especially this type and you certainly don't want to have to run out and buy a new battery just for some stripped threads. Now this one does also have top posts which we could have changed the, the battery cable but uh, he uses that for his stereo system so we will leave that alone and go ahead and just uh, fix his threads in the side of the battery, the side terminal. So you also want to put some stuff to prevent it from corroding on there which we've done and then once that's hooked up uh, you can see here that it's nice and tight and snug and uh, once you do that put the neg negative battery cable on and then you're done. So a uh, pretty simple process. Like I said you wouldn't have to take it out and now both terminals are on. So this is the steps I took to fix the strip threads in the battery terminal. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.